go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for me. So the other day I was watching the Run Your Race podcast. They had good old Danny Green on there. And of course, they asked him about LeBron. Now, I found a, I found a few things very interesting about how he answered and the things that he said. As I say a lot of times, some of the things that he said to me was very telling. The way Danny was talking about being so amused or amazed by LeBron's schedule, it sounded more like he was just amazed in how schedules work and how people could have routines. Saying that his day is very structured, most successful people's day is very structured. That's how we get ahead, by planning our day out, by planning our activities, what needs to be done in order. I'm not taking anything away from LeBron or trying to cast clouds on Danny, but how he was talking seemed like he was less impressed with LeBron's schedule and just impressed with having a schedule. Danny is successful in his own right, so I'm... I don't think it could be what I'm saying. You know, maybe I think I'm a very petty person sometimes. I think I could have just been listening with my petty ears. So forgive me. But let's let's move on. Let's go to my second point. Then it goes on to talk about LeBron being 38 and still able to jump and run around. Can you believe that? He's 38 years old and he can still run? That is amazing. See, fanboys, I don't, I don't know if you realize this, but this is what we be talking about. This is our problem that we have with you. I have no problem congratulating LeBron when he makes an awesome play. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. I haven't seen them, but I'm sure they're out there somewhere, and I will congratulate them when I see them. But my problem is when y'all tell us about the amazing things that LeBron James does... You be describing the most basic, he's 38, and still running and jumping around, dunking the ball. One minute. One minute. No. No. I know I didn't see what I thought. Is that guy 38 and he dunked the ball? That doesn't happen. This is why nobody takes you guys serious. Besides you guys. He said this man has the greatest career in NBA history. You know, I thought of the perfect analogy about how I feel about LeBron's 21 years. Imagine being with your lady for the first time. Y'all getting intimate. You've been in that thing for about five minutes and, oh, here it comes. It's about to come early. So, so, So what you do? You get up and start walking around the house for 30, 40 minutes. Maybe make a sandwich. Watch a little TV. Then you come back, jump back up in that thing. Five minutes later, you go ahead and finish. Now, I don't know about you, but I bet if you asked your lady, you lasted about 10 minutes. But if you LeBron James, I guess you done been in that thing for about 40, 50 minutes. Because you counting all that time that you was bullshitting. You counting all that extra time that didn't mean anything. I don't care if this man been played for 21 years. Every time I'm complaining about not seeing any highlights or seeing anything good in this man, you say go watch his earlier games. If the only time I can see you be good is in the first part of your career, why are you still playing? Those 21 years don't mean nothing. Shout out to at user hyphen W-W-5-Z-R-9-Z-T-4-S. In my comment section, he said longevity numbers is just for the record books. I'm not impressed by your longevity. In that case, next time I'm in something good and I'm about to let it off early, I'm just going to say, hey, hey, let's, let's reconvene tomorrow so I can say that I lasted a whole day up in that thing. 
You know how stupid that sounds, right? Well, this is what we're hearing when we hear y'all. Let, let me calm down, y'all. Let me calm down real quick. Okay. Okay. I'm back. I'm back, y'all. Yeah, so I was looking at this uh, podcast, and I just, I just had to give my two cents on a few things there because... It's, it's absurd. And, you know, the first one, the, my first point was probably, uh, like I said, some pettiness. Uh, but, hey, I'm only human. I'm only, I'm only me. So, thanks for checking out your boy OTA. As always, I appreciate the love, and I will see you in the next one.